it seems the beauty industry discovers a new miraculous ingredient every month. A rare extract that can make you look 10 years younger, a revolutionary complex that can activate genes, smart actives that understand the needs of your individual skin, and deliver targeted repair. Oh well, claims keep getting bolder. Even when these ingredients are as effective at treating signs of aging, although they're never as powerful as companies would like us to believe, there isn't just one that is better than the other. Just like your body needs different fruits, veggies, fish, and carbs to be healthy and function properly, your skin needs several ingredients to work and look its best. In particular, there are five anti-aging superstars that should be included in any skincare routine. So here they are. Did you know that UV rays are responsible for 80% of the visible signs of aging? That means no matter how many effective anti-aging products you are using, none of them are going to do your skin any good if you insist on not wearing sunscreen every day, even in winter. Think if you can see the sun, the sun can see you and damage your skin, causing wrinkles, dark spots, and even cancer. But not any sunscreen will do. It must provide broad spectrum protection, meaning it has to shield your skin from UVA and UVB rays. My personal preferred sunscreen filter is zinc oxide because it provides on its own a very effective and reliable protection against all UVA and UVB rays without irritating skin. However, sunscreens with an effective combination of UVA and UVB filters work too. Please just keep in mind to apply any kind of sunscreen very liberally all over your face, neck, decolletage, the backs of your hands, whatever is exposed to the sun and touch it up throughout the day, even more so if you're someone that works outside very frequently or you have to step out the house for a prolonged amount of times. Ideally, you have to reapply sunscreen every two hours. So my current favorite sunscreens are the Polish Choice Hydralite. I just love this sunscreen so, so much. This one is a physical sunscreen, so it has titanium dioxide and zinc oxide. So it has pretty much the perfect protection against UVA and UVB rays. It's very effective. It provides enough hydration. Number two has to be the Clinique Super Defense SPF 20 that I've been testing out for the past two and a half weeks now, and I am loving it so far. I like to use the one that is for oily combination skin because that means I can use plenty of this cream without the fear that it looks way too shiny on my skin, though it doesn't set to a semi-matte finish. It still leaves a little bit of a shine. It is completely invisible on skin, therefore I don't have to necessarily apply foundation on top. And lastly, John Masters Natural Sunscreen, of course. I've been using this one for a while. It's actually one of my personal staple sunscreens for very, very dry skins. If you have normal to combination skin, I don't think that you would like this one. However, me having extremely dry skin, especially in the winter, I need something thicker and richer in consistency. This one does not leave a too white cast on the skin, so it's still okay. Although I like to wear foundation on top of it. A lot of women like to use scrubs that contain grains, some kind of nutshells or particles to remove the dead skin cells off their skin. Even though using these types of exfoliants can be pretty satisfying, I can imagine, they can irritate your skin at the same time. So alpha hydroxy acids or AHAs like glycolic acid and lactic acid are much gentler. They work by dissolving the glue that holds these dead skin cells on top together, allowing them to slough off and reveal brighter, smoother, and even toned skin underneath. But that's not the only reason why you should prefer AHA exfoliants to physical scrubs. AHAs can also stimulate collagen production, thus helping to reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. 
My favorite AHAs currently are the Olay Regenerous Night Resurfacing Elixir. What I like about this one in particular is that not only is it very affordable for being a drugstore product, this one has approximately 5-8% to of glycolic acid as well as a load of niacinamide, which is one of the other ingredients I'm going to talk about. And I just love the consistency. This one is more like a gel that glides all over the skin very nicely. It doesn't disrupt moisturizers that I like to apply on top and therefore it's one of the very nicely formulated drugstore glycolic acid treatments that I like to go for. Number two had to be another Polish Choice product. You're definitely going to see more Polish Choice in this video as well as on my channel, generally speaking. I love this brand so much. Formulations of Polish Choice are spot on, loaded with everything that skin could possibly need. So my second pick for my favorite AHA is the Daily Smoothing Treatment. This one has 5% of glycolic acid as well as a whole host of other great ingredients like antioxidants, skin repairing ingredients and all that. I can use it every single day, it doesn't irritate my skin. However, keep in mind that my skin is already pretty acclimate to using chemical exfoliants. All I can say is I love this product and I can very highly recommend it. It's pretty much one of the best formulated glycolic acid treatments that I have found so far. A form of vitamin A, retinol, is one of the very few ingredients that can actually reverse some extent of signs of aging. Retinol can firm the skin by boosting the collagen production and reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles as well as discoloration by increasing cell turnover. For this reason, it is recommended to start with a low dosage and increase it slowly. Less irritating but also less effective forms of vitamin A commonly used in skincare are retinyl palmitate and retinyl aldehyde. It's very important to notice that the packaging of these products must be an opaque and airtight container to prevent light and air from spoiling them. So my two current favorite retinol treatments include the Polish Choice Resist 1% Retinol Treatment. As every Polish Choice product is packed with wonderful ingredients, this one has a whole host of anti-irritants to help prevent the feeling of, you know, tighter skin as well as the peeling that can occur when using retinol. All in all, this product to me is one of the best retinol treatments in like the higher percentages that I have tried so far that does the job beautifully and that I rely on 100%. It's super highly recommended. My second favorite is the SkinCeuticals 1% Retinol Overnight Treatment. I've been using this one much longer than the Polish Choice one and I love the formulation about this one. It's also one of the best formulated retinol treatments that I have come across so far. I love the very silky, very soothing texture with this one. However, speaking about hydration again, this one did not deliver as much hydration as the Polish Choice one. It's very highly recommended if you can get your hands on it. Antioxidants such as vitamin C and E, coenzyme Q10, green tea and ferulic acid can fight free radicals, therefore helping to keep signs of aging at bay. Some of them can also stimulate collagen production and reduce discolorations. But which one should you use? A combination of them works best. For example, vitamins C and E enhance each other's effectiveness and boost photoprotection against UV rays. They work even better when combined with ferulic acid. My favorite antioxidant picks include the Timeless CE Ferulic Serum, of course. I mentioned this one on my channel prior and I cannot shut up about it. It's my all-time favorite CE Ferulic Serum because I just love the conveniency and the price of this one. With vitamin C products, you have to keep in mind that they do oxidize. So usually I like to keep the 30ml bottle that I get from Timeless for around two months. My second favorite antioxidant serum is the Paula's Choice Super Antioxidant Serum from the Resist line. I've been using this one for years and I love this one. It has ferulic acid as well as niacinamide and so many other great ingredients for your skin. I can very much recommend it. The difference between the Timeless and the Polish Choice one is pretty much only the consistency. A 
stable form of vitamin B3, niacinamide is one of the most versatile ingredients used in skincare and it's actually one of my all-time favorite ingredients too. It can increase the ceramide and free fatty acid levels in the skin and reduce water loss, thus helping to keep skin hydrated. It can also reduce hyperpigmentation, soothe rosacea, and treat acne. So there is absolutely no excuse not to use it. My favorite products containing niacinamides include the Olay Regenerist Regenerating Serum, of course, I always get the fragrance-free version. It does contain a lot of silicones, so therefore I don't like to layer it with other silicone-containing products, but this one penetrates the skin very fastly. In fact, the fourth ingredient in this one is niacinamide, so it has a lot of it. And all in all, it's a great serum that is very affordable because it's from the drugstore, and I can very highly recommend it. These anti-aging superstars are so good that I'm finally revealing my real age, which is 45. I hope this video was helpful and informative for you guys. So if it was, why not give it a thumbs up as well as subscribe to my channel to get more content. I'm uploading every single Sunday, very much focusing on the basics of skincare as just generally skincare related videos. So if you're into that, please subscribe. And don't forget to check out my social media. Everything will be down below. I'm especially active on Instagram at the moment, so you definitely have to follow me on there. All right, so as always, I wish you guys a beautiful day and until we meet again.